your final game at Heinz Field, um, the emotions, it was electric. What is your message to the fans of Pittsburgh? You know, that, that was that's the hardest thing, to put into words um, how special uh, that night was, how special they are to me. If I, if I tried to put it into words, I would say I love you. I would say thank you. I feel so blessed. You know, it, it's just an honor um, for them to call me their quarterback for 18 years. And it just, um, thank you. I guess, I, I don't know, it's hard. Let's go down the football circle of life. What do you remember about that first game of Baltimore when all of a sudden Tommy Maddox gets hit, sap, he's out of the game, and now you're coming into the game in the second half? I remember seeing Tommy like, and so then it kind of became real, like, holy cow, what the heck do I have to do to go out and get that defense? Ray Lewis, Ed Ray, Maloney, now the Terrell Suggs, and, and they're parking out across the line. And I'm this big guy, rookie, not knowing what to do. And uh, I remember we had a chance. I threw a pass and they intercepted it and ended the game, but... Um, I learned a lesson very quickly about the two-minute drill um, in my first start. You know, I know I'm sure after Monday night you got a lot of texts and messages from people from all over the country. But I gotta show you one that came from your former teammate. Watch this. Thank you for the promise that was made and the promise that was kept uh, in getting the championship. And I will always appreciate that. But most importantly, I am already going to be indebted to you. So, so I, I, I got to go back to that moment and take me back as you handed the ball to Jerome. Take me back in time. What you what's going through your mind? It literally was slow motion. Like that ball pops out and it, it bounces. And the first ball is now or never. Uh, you know, just make an effort, try and slow him down, do what you can. I got enough of his foot. I remember two hands on his ankle. Uh, enough to get him down. You know, during that moment, it's like, this cannot happen to Jerome. Like this, he's too special to all of us. I mean, it, it, could you imagine if they would have went and won that game and that was Jerome's last play? And then we get to Detroit, and I gotta ask you about the last play. I will forget the iconic big push from Luke. You wanna know what was the story behind that? And all of a sudden, you, you, you get the first down, you go, first down, you come off the side like a bet. Next time you keep the ball, you tell me. And I do remember you grabbing me, and I had a big smile on my face, and you were trying not to smile, you were still trying to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> I was very happy. Uh, I, I just want to say to you, um, and I need this from the bottom of my heart, I only coached you for three years, but thank you for allowing me to coach you the way I did. You were a big part of us winning that Super Bowl 40, and you will forever be cemented into my heart. As one of the all time great players and the joys I have with coaching players. That means a lot, Coach. Thank you very much. I, you know, I've played for two head coaches in the NFL, and they're two awesome, awesome coaches. And, and I've told you many times, I wish we would have had more time, especially as you get older, you develop different relationships with coaches. Like our relationship has changed so much over the years. I, I am so thankful and appreciative of, of, of the way that you coached me and, and all the things you taught me, the way you led me and us. Um, you, you've got what you needed and deserved, which is a Super Bowl and ultimately a gold jacket. And so uh, I could be more proud of, of the coach that you are. Um, and will always be to me and, and everybody here. And you, you'll always be Pittsburgh's coach, I know it. So thank you for everything that you brought to me and to us. Hey, Ben, um, I have to ask you, and that was cool to beat the Jacksonville Jaguars, which eliminated you guys from the playoffs. Is this your last game in the NFL? Uh, most likely. Yes. And if you miss out that, um, what do you want your legacy to be? You know, I just want people to know that I gave everything I had. I, I believe Black and Gold Hour was real, and I, I, want, I, I left it all out there for my fans, for the fans, for my teammates, for the coaches, for, for everyone out there. And I just want people to know and appreciate that uh, I was pretty darn tough most of the time. You know, sometimes you have players for 15 years I had them, and some, you have some players longer than others. He was a guy that came along, and I almost felt like a father at times. I kept pulling him into my office multiple times, talking about how he should be playing the game and not making a street ball, go through the progressions. After he had the accident, he had to step into the ball, get back on the bike. Um, this is a guy that's grown over 18 years. And just watch him, so proud of him. I always will remember January 11, 2020, David Baker on this stage, told me that I was going into the Hall of Fame. I received hundreds of 
text. The very first text I got, wow, it's on my phone, was from Ben Roethlisberger. Wow. wow. And it says, wow, congrats, coach. So you know what? I'd say to Ben, congrats to you. 18 years with the same team, never had a losing season. And to me, embodying what Pittsburgh Steelers all about. Yeah, from the black and gold to a gold jacket, he will go. Um, 